Hey, Praise Kids. Well, today we're going to be talking about how God takes care of us. And my friend Quarter Bear and I were just here talking about how he's a little worried. You know, he said he was worried because he wasn't sure if he was going to be able to go home with anyone. Nobody sent in their picture. So I told Quarter Bear that he does not have to worry and that God will take care of him. And God takes care of us too. If you want to try to take Quarter Bear home, but you can send in your photo, okay? Send it to Praise Tabernacle Church. All right. Well, our lesson today is don't worry. And do you know what worry is? Worry is when you're thinking about your troubles. Yes, when you are thinking about your troubles, that's worry. And sometimes worry can fill us up and make us feel a word called anxious. You could feel anxious. But actually, in the Bible, in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25, it says that anxiety in the heart causes depression. That's like sadness. And, um, but a good word makes it glad. And, and Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God surpasses all understanding shall keep your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. So there are a lot of things that we could worry about, right? Things that, that when we think about them, our troubles, they can make us anxious. Um, but God said we don't have to worry about those things. We've been talking about the Sermon on the Mount, right? That Jesus gave his speech to the people. And he was telling the people in Matthew chapter 6 that they shouldn't worry about getting things or about having lots of stuff, right? Because the more you have, the more you have to worry about it. And Jesus also was telling the people, hey, look up. There's the birds. The birds don't have anything. They don't have to worry about anything. They don't plant, so they don't have to worry about how to grow food. So we should be like them. God takes care of them. And so we know that God will take care of us. If they don't have to work for their food or worry about anything because God provides, then we know that God will provide for us. He said to the people, hey, look at the fields. They're full of flowers. The flowers are clothed in beauty, right? So God will also provide us clothes. So there's nothing that we have to worry about. God will give us the food, and he will give us clothes and water to drink. Whatever we need, God is here for us. And remember I was talking about Philippians chapter 4? We have to pray to God. When we have that relationship with God, he will take care of us because we're his children. I think that's all that I have for today, except I do have a song. So hold tight, and I'm going to sing it for you in a few seconds. Hey, we're back. I'm going to show you the hand signals, okay? It's going to go this way, this way, up and down. Ready? This is our Don't Worry song. We change the words just a little bit. All right? So listen closely. Worried about going to school because of all these COVID rules. Don't worry, just say God's got me. If you have to do school at home, haven't seen your friends in oh so long. Don't worry, just say God's got me. Someone on the other team is being just a little mean. Don't worry, just say God's got me. If you don't understand. 
understand the test, but you studied and tried your very best. Don't worry, just say God's got me. And when you lay your head to sleep, pray to the Lord for a dream so sweet. Don't worry, just say God's got me. you put your trust in God, he'll keep you, he'll see you through. Just trust in the Lord. Don't worry about the things that you cannot control. Just give them to the Lord. He's going to work them out. Don't worry about the things that you've been going through. God will take care of you. Just put your trust in the Lord. Don't worry, God's got me. Don't worry, God's got me. Said, don't worry, God's got me.